I think you're a bit wonky. Merry Vlogmas! Oh, I, ne I nearly said happy then. Yes. No, I mind. don't know what day it is. Oh, it's Friday. Day, 11, Friday. day 11 for us, day 12 for you. Yes, it's the 10th it's today. All... No, it's not. That was yesterday, wasn't it? No, your birthday's the 9th. Yeah. Was it yesterday? No, because it's, it's the 11th today. Yeah, it's the 11th. Yeah. Oh, oh, just testing. Don't confuse Just me. testing. It doesn't take a lot. No. Right, okay. Oh, yeah, look. Now you got to find 11. Which good is... clue was it was the 10th yesterday. Yes, and yes. I didn't remember that either. And 11 comes nice... after 10. Oh! Chocolate covered something. Well, these are hazelnuts. Chocolate covered hazelnuts. What it says it in And the I don't know, with no. mint. Oh. Zimp, yes. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Try it. We've had zimped. It looks like mint, doesn't it? In the it pictures. does. Well, soon tell you. I might get these because he doesn't particularly like mint chocolate. No, look at that, very promising. Aren't oh, they? yeah. I've still mm. got some from yesterday, so mm. you'll be alright. No, there's no mint involved. Oh, damn it. I didn't yeah. think there was. I think there's zipped something else. They're scrumptious. This is turning out to be a real success, this box, isn't it? Yeah. They're absolutely wonderful. Oh, I'll good. let you have one. Not, no, not oh. now. Not now. I'll put it there. Oh, you'll like these as well. All right. Mm. It's really good. And by giving you both one, it only leaves me with one. Oh, can't get into mine. So what is it? Zimt? Zimt. It's another baby's truffle. Oh, I saw 11 yesterday. <laughs> that means nothing. No, I, I can see it now. That means I can nothing. see it now. You can see it? I can see it. That gives you a clue, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> No scrummage today. I really can't remember what order I wrapped everything in. So who knows? Ooh. Oh. 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 oh! Okay. There is a chocolate in there. It's an orange one. Do you want to swap? Yes. <laughs> so, this is the main fabric of the second project. Oh. It's different, isn't it? I really? haven't seen that one before. Well, you have, and you have seen the project at the shows. Oh, right. I don't remember this particular shape of pattern yeah the shapes are very important mm. the shapes are yeah. very important and may need to be fussy cut how exciting for particular things yeah it's beautiful you've still got no idea no excellent <laughs> there, there is a pattern in here as well as part of the present so you will, you will yeah. i will i will get an idea yes <laughs> and this one is a com um, sewing machine yes Ooh. yes this one isn't hand sewing right. you don't have to so this one. I would imagine there's a little bit of hands. Oh, don't knock your chocolate off. Hand sewing involved. But yeah, so I'm going to have the orange chocolate. Mum's going to have the truffle. For a change. For you. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> the washing machine is just about to get to the noisiest stage of its cycle, so I won't talk to you for too long in here. <laughs> I'm going to go and get my hair dyed later this afternoon at two o'clock. So before that, I was going to cut out the deer and doe lupin today. I don't think I'd get that all done. Well, actually I might, I might do. I've left the fabric upstairs, which was silly. So I have to go and get that. Yeah, I might get that cut out, you know. It's not the biggest or most involved project to cut out. Yeah, let's do that. I also need to embroider the two girls' names for the quilt and also the label for the back of the quilt that mum is doing for me at the moment because it's getting ever so close to being done. Yeah, I've got some, some bits and pieces jobs to do today and I also need to film the 12 for the new coat. I was hoping to do it with slightly better hair than this but thinking about it, I'm not sure if they're still going to be light when I come back from the hairdressers, which would mean that you'd have to wait till tomorrow for the coat 12, which I'm not sure you guys would forgive me for two days in a row away making you wait for it. We'll see, we'll see. But yes, that's what today is hopefully going to be. Okay, all done. 
I'm back from having my hair done and I'm really pleased with how it's come out actually. They've got it to be a really, really lovely cover colour and they've also covered up all of my roots which were desperate in need of being doing. They never style it right but you know, I prefer to wear it up as you guys know so yeah, I'm pleased with that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the rest of the afternoon. It's half past four so I don't really want to start cutting out because... I'm gonna have to start cooking dinner soon as well and I don't want to be in the way even if it wasn't me cooking dinner so yeah I'm not sure what I'm gonna do this afternoon who knows really liking the new hair color and it wasn't as expensive as I thought it was going to be to have this done and it will be even less next time because it will only be retouching the roots so I think this will be the new regime going forward because I absolutely hate dyeing my hair it's my least favorite thing to do. I always make a mess, I always miss a piece, I always end up with a dodgy hairline so yeah fun times, fun times. Oh the hairdresser did say that she she really had to work to get the dye off of my hairline. She did say that it, it my skin was unusually grabby of, of the hair dye so it's not just me not being very good at it even though I do put Vaseline and stuff on it was just I yeah I seem to have extra grabby skin so there you go. So I, I made bacon and prawn pasta for dinner for all of us which was very yummy. I have just finished editing all the stuff that I filmed today. Today's vlog's not going to be a very long one but I did manage to get a twirl of the coat before the light completely disappeared when I got home this afternoon so I shall show you that now. I absolutely love this coat. I'm really pleased with how it came out. I have got it on here over a Hortensia jumper so it is a little bit lumpy because it's a very thin fabric. There's no interlining in this this fabric it is just a cotton twill whilst I was wearing this one today I wasn't cold when I wore my rainbow princess coat out the other day it was incredibly warm and I was very 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 much overheating in that one when I was inside the shops this trench coat whilst it's got no warmth factor built into it at all it was plenty warm enough with my t-shirt and jumper and coat and the scuba skirt and the tights and things like that and the, and the scarf I was plenty warm enough in that today so I don't think it's one for minus degrees I think we were around about four or five degrees today here in the UK I do think it's going to be a coat that I get more wear out of than I thought I was going to. I love the storm flap detailing. I really like the top stitching although as you can see the top stitching is not puckered the fabric it's just over the princess seams and things like that the tops again because obviously I'm trying to it's not a flat seam so I'm going to go in and press that a little bit more. There aren't any tucks or gathers in that seam it is just such a pronounced princess curve and then doing the top stitching as well. I think I think it just needs a little bit more pressing and steaming. It'll be good. I really like the collar with the notch in it. I really like that. I love the storm flap detail on the back. I'm very pleased with that. I'm really pleased that I added the belt carriers for the belt for this coat. I don't think I'm gonna add a buckle to this belt that I've made for it. I think I'm just gonna knot it in the way that I did. I only knotted it once today and it did kind of keep coming loose which isn't really that much of a surprise so I'm gonna work out a way that I can knot it twice without like one bit sticking up at the top and you know like an awkward knot. There is ways of knotting it so that the, both of the ends stick downwards. Pockets are huge in this coat. I really like the length. I like that my skirts and stuff are going to peek out underneath it. I Would I lengthen this coat? Definitely. I would love to make a, a much longer version. I know Rachel's doing that with some velvet that she has coming. So that would be a variation I can see myself making of this coat because I really do love it but I've got two now. Does it look like my inspiration picture? sort of sort of the inspiration picture obviously was like a brown wool tweed kind of fabric and can I see myself making one of those in the future yes yes I can but I really like this green green version and as you guys know I've been hoarding this fabric for at least seven years now I've had it in my stash for a very very long time always knew it was going to be a trench coat I really really like this variation of a trench coat. I didn't put on any epaulette details or the details that go around the cuffs because my inspiration picture didn't have those elements in it. Could definitely do that in the future and I think it would look really cool and that's definitely another possibility. I have the black version of this fabric, the black cotton brushed cotton twill. Yeah a trench coat with more trench coat detailing on it 
in that fabric could be really good if I have enough of it. I think I have five meters of it, but I did buy it with the intention of making a Kelly Anorak with the lime green faux fur lining. And I was talking to the peeps last night on the Facebook group and I have found some lime green brush cotton twill. And I was really tempted to just go all out for a crazy coat. I mean, how good would it look with the hair as well? Bright lime green. We all know that I'm not a standard. <laughs> like, I do like out there clothing. I do like loud prints. I do like loud colours. So I was thinking about that. And then it kind of occurred to me that purple would look quite nice with it. I may or may not have some purple needle cord on the way so i'm gonna have a look at the faux fur throw company and see what purple faux fur they have for the hood of that coat because i think that's going to be pretty epic cadbury's purple outer with chartreuse lime green inner it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a loud coat i think i was thinking about going for gunmetal hardware for it but I think I probably will go for silver nickel I think the nickel would look really good on it as well and I am going to do a few more details with the Kelly Anorak as I mentioned I think I need to lengthen the bottom portion of the coat because I've lengthened above the waist which now works but I think I need to lengthen below the waist as well I think I'm also going to add on some pockets to the top just because looking back at my brown one and I love my brown one and I'm not going to stop wearing my brown one but I think my brown one is a little bit bottom heavy with all of the details down there and then not a lot going on up top so I think some some pockets up the top and I can borrow those from another pattern no problem at all really really pleased with coat number two of Coatmas my trench coat of dreams the lining is absolutely gorgeous it is the Lady McElroy Shanghai bouquet polyester satin I don't think Sherwoods have it in stock at the moment but they do come back into stock very frequently yeah the poly satin was a great option for lining the coats the sleeves are plenty slippery enough to get on and off so I'm really really happy with it I'm really happy with it really really happy with it gonna 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 wear a lot of it we're going to wear it a lot definitely definitely gonna wear it a lot I mean it's been a good day I've got the little bits of embroidery done that I need to now I need to just make them into little sort of shapes that can then be top stitched onto the quilt mum is ever so nearly finished with the quilt as well which is really exciting there's just the it needs to be trimmed the bias binding sewn on I can sew the rest of the bias binding on by hand once that that's been done mum can then get on and finish the feathers around the very edge and then the quilt will be done Oh no, whiskers, whiskers on the lions. I'm gonna put some wool whiskers on those lions. But other than that, then the quilt will be done. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to having that finished. If I had quilted it, it would not be the masterpiece that it is now. So I'm very, very grateful to mum for agreeing to do that for me. It was very kind of her. So yeah, it's been a good day. It's been a very good day. So I hope you've enjoyed what I have been up to and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.